Hello everyone, Mark Abus here with another in a series of CRM blogs all about the basics of dynamic CRM. If you're like most sales professionals, you don't necessarily aspire to becoming a CRM expert, but you definitely want to know enough to keep the CRM working for you. In other words, help you stay focused, organized, and close more sales. Understanding basic CRM concepts will help you get up to speed faster in CRM, be more productive, and efficient. That's what I'll be tackling over the next few months with my blogs. Let's start with the four basic types of sales records, account, contact, lead, and opportunity. In dynamic CRM, you'll work with and inside different types of records. Each of the basic record types we'll address here are designed to capture specific types of data about existing and potential customers. These records not only store basic information about your customers, but also help you keep organized and on track as you move customers through your specific selling processes. Let's start with account records. Account records store information that you and your staff need to know about the businesses or organizations you sell to or work with. Basic information like addresses, phone numbers, fax numbers, primary contacts, all are typically found in the account record. Additionally, critical information like annual revenue, number of employees, the industry, financial information, all of these can also be found in the account record. Next, we'll look at contact records. Contact records store the information and data you need to know about the people that are employed by your accounts. For salespeople, the most important contacts are typically the person or persons that make the buying decisions. Other important contacts may include the account's payable clerk, the warehouse manager, or the chief operating officer. Direct phone numbers, email addresses, and branch locations are all things that you'll typically find in a contact record. You can also track your sales related activities relative to that contact, such as appointments, phone calls, and emails in the contact record. Another important record type is the lead record. Leads reflect people or companies that may represent a legitimate sales opportunity. I say may because lead status is generally reserved for people that we don't know enough about to categorize as a potential customer. Leads may or may not have a real need, an approved budget, a time frame to move forward, or the authority to make a firm buying decision. This record is designed to help us gather important information about or qualify our potential customers. Leads are especially important for capturing critical attributes like the urgent need, the lead source, budgeting and purchasing process, decision makers, and so on. Lastly, we'll look at opportunity records. Opportunity records hold information on potential sales that have a real shot at becoming a reality. Often these opportunities started out as leads, but over time have proven themselves to be something we definitely want to pay more attention to, spend more time on, and work hard to close. It's common for opportunity records to contain an estimate of the sales revenue figure, probability of closing, and a projected close date. Other information you may want to capture for yourself could be the sales team associated with the opportunity, specific products or services, status of your proposal, promotional discounts, delivery dates, etc. Getting a handle on the nature and purpose of these basic CRM sales records is a good first step and will make it easier for you to understand CRM and how it all works together. With a little experience, you'll be on your way to making the CRM really work for you and not the other way around. Thank you for your attention, and if you have a question, you can contact us using the information you see here. Thanks again.